everybody and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman and still with me in the studio as promised is Jim Mohan, Publicity Chairman of the Ancient Order of Hibernians and he's here to talk about the events. You're best known for the Dogtown Parade that right. happens every St. Patrick's Day Correct. here in St. Louis. But there's another great event that you guys put on to help raise awareness and right. funds right. for the parade itself. Talk about the Hoses and Handcuffs event. Okay. I really appreciate it because basically we get no corporate sponsorship of the parade. Everything we do, all the monies we raise during the year, the Hibernians raise, actually help put on the parade. And we also have the people in the parade help us out financially too because to be in the parade with their floats. So all that comes together, it actually put an event because it does cost money and time, but obviously money is a big issue putting it on. So we have this event. We started it 10 years ago. Uh, and I'll explain it, how it started, but basically it's called the uh, Salute to Heroes, Hoses and Handcuffs. It's the Electrician's Hall on March 15th, Thursday night. Doors open at six o'clock to be Irish music, Irish dancing. And also we get a chance to recognize the honorees in this year's parade, uh, including the Grand Marshal, uh, Football Hall of Famer Jackie Smith, uh, a New York, uh, a St. Louis City firefighter and St. Louis County firefighter, a St. Louis City policeman, and a St. Louis County policeman, and also a civic leader, and all, and also a union leader. And all this is about uh, came about ten years ago. After 9/11, the Hibernians wanted to bring in some New York City firefighters and policemen to honor them for their service during 9/11. And so we we went out and recruited some folks from New York that came in, and we put this event on the first time just strictly to raise funds to bring bring them in for their trip. But all the airlines helped us out by paying for their airfares, the hotel, Chase Park Plaza put them up, Great. gratis, and all these businesses helped out. Well, once the event was over, we said, you know what? We have a lot of heroes in St. Louis we can honor, too. Absolutely. So we chose the uh, opportunity to put this event. Keep it going. Let me interrupt you for a second because I know we have some great photos that okay, we can sure. show of the previous right. events of handcuffs and hoses yeah. while you talk about it. Okay. So you talk about this year's honorees. You, you've been honoring right. honoring civic, civic leaders, leaders and firefighters, policemen, and our Grand Marshal. Our Grand, like Grand Marshal is Jackie Smith, who we hope will honor us. He's a great Irish tenor and he sang Danny Boy last year at this event. Oh. So we're going to hold him back up in the stage to sing Danny Boy again this year. And then we also have the, the uh, St. Louis City Police Officer, Jeff Trares. Uh, the St. Louis County Firefighter is Mark Woodbright from Pattonville. The St. Louis County Police Officer is Kevin Quinlis from Bridgeton. And the Labor Leader, uh, St. Louis City Firefighter is Catherine Bruce Williams. And the Labor Leader is Jim O'Mara from the Pipe Fitters Union Retired. Cool. And uh, civic leader is Judge Mark Neal from the Circuit Judge of the City of St. Louis. And we bring these folks out, we give them a plaque, we see some of the photos, and also we just give a chance for people to recognize them and honor them for their service. So that is an excellent opportunity for you to go and attend and help support the um, uh, Hibernian Association. Um, Thursday, March 15th at Electrician's Hall on Elizabeth Avenue. Doors open at 6 p.m. For more information, log on to stlhibernians.com. All right, St. Patrick's Day Parade is March 17th Correct. at 12.30. Right. All right, and we talk. it's such a neat tradition here in St. Louis to have the St. Patrick's Day Parade in um, Dogtown, which has been happening in Dogtown for 27 years, but right. you've been doing the parade for 29 years. Right. Some of us remember a few years there where Highway 40 was closed down. Right. One of the things we're really proud of in, in the years Highway 40 was closed down, we kept the parade going. We had to readjust the route and times and whatever, but one of the things we found out from the businesses in Dogtown neighborhoods, some of them were going to go under because when Highway 40 came in, it kind of cut, cut off from business, yeah. okay? And they said just the revenue from the parade and the Irish Festival alone after the parade helped keep them in business. So we're really proud of the fact we helped keep those guys afloat or at least contributed to keeping them afloat. Hey, hey, I'm going to stick around after the parade this year. I packed up my chairs and my <laughs> cooler and left last year. I had no idea there was an Irish Festival afterwards. I hope that you will join the Ancient Order of Hibernians on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th on Long Tam Avenue at 1230 p.m. for their annual St. Patrick's Day Parade 29th year. Right. 440-7079 or stlhibernians.com. And just a reminder also to help support the parade, go on out to the Electrician's Hall on Thursday, March 15th. Doors open at 6 p.m. and you can attend the Hoses and Handcuffs event, which is actually is a really nice right. Right. way to get you in the mood. The yes, St. St. Patrick's Spirit. That is a great way to get in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. And we encourage everybody, one last thing, we encourage everybody, you know, make it a safe. When we see you for 2013, so make sure you're safe. Make plans ahead of time. If you're going to drink, make sure you get a designated driver or you call a taxi. Any bartender in Dogtown will connect you with the taxi. We want you to be safe. We want everybody to be saved.
Thank you, Jim, for so much for being here and for saying that. And we really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to St. Patrick's Day's right around the corner. We've got some other great events coming up a little bit later in the show that are happening this weekend that I want to tell you about. And if you want to take, take a look at what's going on around St. Louis, the best way to do that is to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you know, we always stream all of our programming live on our website at stltv.net. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, I'll be Missouri Ballet Theater um, representatives will be joining me, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>